All right. Um, so yes. I believe, good sir, you had a plate of crow. We were going to eat. Yes. <laughs> is this a we thing or is this you thing? I don't know. I forget. Uh, it's mostly me. It's mostly me. You can eat, you can have some if you want. That's I'll have a side. So started going back to see the chiropractor, this chiropractor. Uh, oh, yep. Okay. Right. And so if you've been listening to the show for a long time, uh, we, we shat on this chiropractor several times in the beginning of Rona. I probably I don't know everything I said. I don't I, I don't know. I'm sure that yeah, I said at one point in time and... like uh, it's misinformation. I I don't know. Yeah. I'm I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, so we'd have to go back. I and take check. full account for everything that I said, right? But that is only to move back to. We're back in Sar, starting seeing her for my shoulder. As Jordan was like, oh, I'll go back and see her. Blah blah blah. blah. So we're back. <laughs> talked to her for a long time, right? Quick side note: Does D Plum still come through? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. So, Doctor Crystal. Right, um, we've talked about it before. Ended up being right about a lot of shit, a lot. And at the time, we—I don't even remember our beef. To be perfectly honest, it was that she. We don't know. That yeah, was the beef. That was the was. deal. It's like yeah. you don't know this, right? You're yeah. saying this there like you know, but you don't. Very know. definitive. Yes. And we're like, you yes. Don't, but and it know. wasn't. It wasn't you're wrong because we also didn't know. And yeah. I never said you're wrong. It was you don't know this, yeah. right? Excuse me. And our deal has always been truth. It's always been objective truth. Like we're spreading facts. And so we say, you don't know this is in fact, you can't, you shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. And your doctor, this is dangerous. Like that's, that was my whole tilt. That was our tilt. Mm -hmm. I, you were not really connected to her. So what you were of, mostly, yeah. you know. In retrospect, um, I'm like, oh man, now. It's not good. Word. <laughs> right? Because she was right about a lot of shit. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of stuff she was talking about, especially good thing is like masking for children. You know, now there's all these studies that are coming out. Oh, it's bad for their development and emotions and things like this. Right. Yeah. It All went, things Dr. Crystal was saying in the beginning. Dr. Yeah. Crystal, she's also kind of woo-woo, you know? So Pretty it was much easier for me to be like, you're fucking wrong. You don't know what you're talking about, yeah. you know? Dr. Crystal was right about a lot of stuff, a lot of things, right? And so as I'm reflecting on this, and I, we sat down during, like, uh, the, the exams or whatever she was doing, and we talked about the podcast a little bit, and I talked to her about, you know, kind of our... I didn't talk to her specifically about we talk shit about you and now you're right about things, but just that, you know, in the beginning we said a lot of stuff and we have realized we were wrong about a lot of shit and we were open about being wrong a lot of shit and we have admitted mm -hmm. every time that we've had to say like, oh, we were wrong or we didn't know or whatever, you know, and and all we want we, is the freedom to be wrong. Right. And then we take we take pride in being willing to admit that we were wrong and yeah. correcting ourselves and then moving on. You know, yeah. we don't need to harp on it. It doesn't need mm -hmm. to be. We, we admitted it. We were wrong. It's fine. We yeah. made a mistake. I know? have been a purveyor of misinformation before. So that, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. So she said that that was great. She admired that. And then when Jordan went in the next day, she talked to Jordan the whole time about the conversation that her and I had. She's like, it's so great that, you know, like they're willing to do that. And he's doing that and blah, blah, blah. So upon further reflection of this conversation with her. Um, I realized one of the reasons I was so bothered by the way that I had acted is that I wasn't following one of Jordan Peterson's rules, right? One of the most basic ones. I was acting, I was not acting like someone I was talking to knew something I didn't know. Yep. Saying there's no way she could know this. It's impossible for her to know this because no one knows. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new disease. It's a whole new virus. No one fucking knows. She couldn't possibly know. How could she know? Because she's a doctor. Because she has, she knows she has medical something. training. She knows something. Yeah, she right? had a better basis or better foundational knowledge of medicine and 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 and, and disease and virus yes. and, than we do to make right. a different. She has an educated guess. We have a guess, which was ignorance on my part, on our part, right? Which is why I'm here saying this. That's ignorance. That was I was not. As per many things at the time, I was not thinking as broadly or as openly as I needed to, right? And just over the last maybe 24 hours, I've thought more and more about it, right, as I'm taking my notes. Another thing that I think frustrates me is that Dr. Crystal was right about so much stuff, and a lot of people, I, we sat here and talked shit about her, I'm sure a bunch of other people that don't have podcasts or platforms talk shit about her, right? She's never going to receive indication for that. No. She has. She started that school for the kids that don't have to wear masks. She started the school league or the soccer league for kids that don't have to wear masks. She's seeing people in her office that yep. don't have to wear masks. She's seeing people who have sensory issues and all the things that they have issues with what's going on there that are having an issue finding a home there. Mm -hmm. You know, she will receive no vindication for anything that she did that was correct for standing up for what was right. She just is going to continue to press on, and I'd like respect. It's very admirable. Yeah. Um, 
because she did the right thing. She yeah. just is doing the right thing. Yeah. You know, for no reward, not because she's going to be recognized, not for vindication, yep. just because that was the right thing to do. Standing up for liberty, standing up for freedom, standing up for what she believed was right was the right thing to do. Yep. In the words of uh, the great and powerful Brit Fetishy, where are her accolades? That's Let's give her some accolades. Yes. Where are the accolades? <laughs> give her for the Dr. accolades. Crystal. Let's do it. I so, don't know what the accolades are, but yep. if we had them, we'd give them to her. So shout out to Dr. Crystal. Um, if this becomes a clip, maybe we'll send it to her or something. I don't know. Go. I've purposefully. She's already listening, Raj, right now. I, I don't even know. She Sneaky. gave some indication <laughs> that she had listened along the way. She did not say explicitly, but it seemed that that was the case. No. So it does not happen to me often, but when it does happen, you go, "Ooh, yes." There's somebody you might know slightly just mention something that you said on the podcast. Like, oh, what have I been what saying? Have I been <laughs> yes, what have I been saying? So. I did. I do have to confess that I, uh, I self-censored myself on one of the clips from the After Dark show last week. <laughs> you did. Yeah, I dropped a hard R and at an inappropriate point. Oh, I'm not afraid to drop a quote-unquote R word, if you will, if if it's the correct to do that, right? Because I feel it's important, and we should not let that word go. Uh, but you need to use it right because nowadays it's a minefield. So I, I ended up, uh, I censored myself. I was going to bleep it, but it just didn't work out real bleep. So I just cut it real quick for the half second that I said it. That's really cool. Right, confession right there. there. You ain't crow, I eat crow. There it is. There you go. And I got to remember, too, when we do these After Dark sessions, if they're going to go on YouTube, I, <laughs> I still have to be careful. Welcome to the south of the streets. Coming at you every week. With this food for thought, hope.